Addy Zero Boston eight. Got a coupon. If I spend over a thousand, I can get five hundred dollars off and tea. This is what they look like when they're still clean. Let's go make them dirty. Runner's garden. Today the plan is. I'm gonna do a tempo run in these and I'll review them afterwards. We also have over here, I got the Agile 500 Solomon with the zipper, which now works perfectly. Um, check out my video above. It has a Hydro Flask in it. I'm gonna do a warm up of about 2K and then a 5K on the track, which should be empty today. Today is Chinese New Year's Eve 2020. I also have the Garmin Instinct watch. Just started it. Well, I guess we better get going. There's been some work done over there, flattening uh, the land. And I think it might be because this is going to be right here. I'm not sure. But why would they put a billboard in an, an alley where nobody comes except for the residents? They've also taken down this little curb, I guess, because they need uh, the trucks and such to come in and start working. So, and I'm wondering if this is going to be a through street now. I live over in that row of houses there. This is the finished Hao Tai, if you've seen my other video on uh, running to luxury homes. Finished product. Pretty good. All right, I gotta get back to running. I love these little vans. This is a very car. Cool. Looks like I got the track to myself. This is the elementary school junior high combo near my house. That track is 200 meters. And there's uh, four lanes. I think there's a basketball player there, but that's all right. I have to run around 25 times. So what I'm gonna do is each lap, I'm gonna change lanes and then and do one of the lanes twice, I guess, and go from the outer edge in and then out and in and out and so on. All right, I did, uh, 6.25 in an hour and four minutes. That includes the warm up, so I was going really slow for that. But uh, after about, a, I think, a mile and a, a fifth, I did my tempo run at half marathon to full marathon pace. Um, and then my cool down was quite interesting. I should have taken a picture of a nice dude that I met on a track. Uh, he probably did as, as much as I did in terms of distance. And, um, so it was cool to have somebody to talk to and practice my Mandarin. And then we slipped into English because he, he spoke English rather well. He's a programmer um, in Zhanghua here, or no, in Taichung, but his parents live here. And I found out his grandfather grows coffee trees, which is really cool because I'm into that stuff, growing. Everybody's got a story. And it's runners are, I consider them like-minded people who are interested in health, probably just into the same things I am. So they're the perfect people to run up and talk to if you're on a, a regular easy run. Because when you do an easy run, you should be running at a pace in which you can talk. And so I've met a lot of people, even in races, just run with them a couple miles and find out about what they do and uh, answer their questions. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a shoe review. It all started with something that I stumbled upon on the internet and I'll insert it right here. It's talking about the fastest shoes. So uh, that compares to what somebody would run a certain distance in, in a certain shoe, and then they switch to another shoe and how they improved, um, assuming they had no you know, additional training or other changes. The Nike Vapor Fly came out on top, of course, but another shoe that was interesting was the Adidas Addy Zero Boston 8. And that was showing a, a couple of percent, 
as far as improvement on times for races. So that piqued my interest a little bit. These Mizuno, Mizuno Wave Aero uh, 16s, they are, they're a little bit flatter than what I'm used to. I run in Hoka and uh, these are the um, UA Infinites, which I like to do really long distance and um, they're good for trail as well. But I wanted something to run speedy distances in, short workouts. And this one was hurting my heel a little bit. So it, I, there is a plate in there, which I like. So another shoe that's kind of flat, but a little more cushion and does have that, that plate is this Adidas. B-O-S-T-O-N, Boston. I'm still contemplating whether I'm going to run a half marathon with these. I think I might, they feel pretty good. All right, let's get into it. First, uh, we have a breathable mesh here. Let's do the breathing test. <laughs> we have a mixture of EVA outsole uh, foam here. So you see, this material is slightly harder than this. See, I can push in. The EVA reminds me of styrofoam. And then on the bottom, we've got the Continental Tire Company is making this rubber, which is great. I love when shoes have something on the bottom. They're going to last longer. I always wanted to try this. Oh, let's start to slip. The grippiness of the rubber. That was comparing with an old uh, Altra. What is this? Impulse, which I like as well. It's cool to have that rubber. It would give me confidence in running on wet surfaces, I think, as well. There's a kick plate on the front. We've got a thin boost inner sole here. The eyelets are kind of reinforced here a little bit. There's not a lot of reflectix except for the aforementioned Boston on the back, which doesn't matter much. I mean, if you're wearing other reflective clothing, the tongue is of a good thickness. There's something there, but it's, it's not too much. The tongue attaches at right about there. So from here down, it's kind of like a sock. I'm really not gonna get into a whole bunch of specifics here because there's a lot of reviews out there that get into the technical aspects of the shoe, but uh, I'm just, uh, consumer, uh, a runner like you, and I just wanna make this video to tell you that I, I would endorse this shoe. Today when I was doing the tempo, I was really trying to focus in on whether I feel, um, you know, a boost or a, as the name says, as far as energy return, but I, I don't think I was being like propelled forward or anything. But the important thing is that it, it was a comfortable fit and uh, you know, a smooth ride. I like them.